It's uh, male to female. <laughs> just so we're all on the same page. I, uh, I just had my reassignment surgery uh, a month ago, um, a year. A year ago, the 30th of last month. So I have uh, these wonderful lesbian approved girl parts. The, uh, the plumbing works and the electricity is on. <laughs> My girlfriend and I, have, oh, I'm also a lesbian. I've always been something of an overachiever. <laughs> My girlfriend and I have been feverishly impersonating auto mechanics. We've been all up under the hood looking for the switches. Yeah. Am I smiling? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I, uh, I seem to get all the uh, all the boy jobs in our house. Some shit about I used to be one. <laughs> and I'm in, the, I'm in the throes of repainting our house now. And, I, and uh, the last day that I was painting, I was up on this ladder and I'm painting away. And this woman pulls up in front of the house and she starts setting bags of laundry out on the curb. And our house is about three blocks away from the laundromat. So I call down to her, "Are you going to the laundromat, baby?" And she goes, "Yeah." And I say. Would you like to use our wagon? And she starts really scrutinizing the hell out of me. She's like looking and looking and looking. And finally she goes, are you transgendered? And I said, well, yeah, but that's a real fucking wagon. Do you want to use it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to turn into a tricycle. And a fucking <laughs> So uh, I came here on the bus tonight. That's part of my comedic process for some demented fucking reason. Uh, and I always seem to get next to the person that's previewing the new perfume in San Francisco. <laughs> Tonight's little foray into that preview was, I haven't wiped my ass in weeks. <laughs> God, was that hard to sit next to. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of claustrophobic, so I'm always looking, I'm always looking around for a a new way to get people off off me on the bus, you know, in my space. And I'm and I'm looking around and I'm looking around and I notice, gee, the the guy over there that's pissed himself has all the room he wants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> Dry clothes and all that. I'm trying to I don't know, provide a better. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I uh. I'm old and I'm and I'm challenged, so. Uh, hey, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I uh, oh, I gotta tell you that since pulling off an outfit like this is much easier now that I've had my that I'm on the other side of my operation because and this is tough to let go of a room that's chock full of people like this. But prior to my operation, I used to be home. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it, baby. I know. Uh, I know the God of my understanding has a sense of humor because you know I've I've been you know when I was born I was born in the wrong body. I can remember being this big and saying to my mama, um, "When do I get to carry the purse? How about some frilly shit for me?" <laughs> I got a smack for telling the truth, so I surmised this was something fucked up that was going on with me. So uh, I. Uh, 
I know the God of my understanding has a sense of humor because she was like, well, let's give the trans girl a 10 inch cup. <laughs> and then we're having so much fun with that, let's make her skinny, right? And any of, the, any of the genetic women in the room know if you can fit your ass in a pair of size four jeans, you're going to. <laughs> I would, I would tuck all that stuff in, and I would get jeans up, and if I sat down the wrong way, I could involuntarily make a noise that sounded just like cats fucking. <laughs> I had no idea that was such a happy sound. <laughs> One more time in my pockets. You don't mind right there with the old woman? No. Oh, I, oh, here's your math joke. I'm middle-aged, provided I live to be fucking 110. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not fair. <laughs> All right, I have a little, little short, very little quiz for you, because I know you've been drinking and you're out on a Saturday. Saturday night? Friday. Friday. Thank you so much. Same difference. Same difference. Um, did you know, did you know at 9.06 you can put your digital watch on upside down and not fucking know it? <laughs> Sometimes they see it, it's kind of cool. I met this guy the other day who was very, very uh, avant-garde, very all about San Francisco, all about what's happening now. And I felt comfortable enough in this conversation that we were having to finally let him in on the fact that I was transgender. And he looked me right in the face and he said, oh, I do that too, that's so relaxing. <laughs> and I was like, where the fucking gym are you going? <laughs> All right, so one of the things that genetic women aren't going to tell the trans girl going into this is about the care and maintenance that your brand new hoo hoo requires. <laughs> 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 About a month ago, I, I woke up and uh, there was this, oh, let's call it an unusual smell <laughs> in the bedroom. And I'm looking all around and I, I finally realized that's coming from my brand new hoo hoo. <laughs> and I'm pissed. $23,000 hoo hoo's ain't supposed to smell like that. <laughs> Eight dollar hoo Three thousand dollar hoo not so much, right? So my girlfriend. Thank you, baby. I think my uh, my girlfriend says to me, "It's okay. It's it's treat. We'll go see your doctor." Right? So I go to see my doctor, and my doctor says, "Morgan, how do you know something's wrong?" And I was like, "My brain smells." She says, "Does it smell like fish?" And I was like, no. Then she says, does it smell like bread? The only thing I could think of is, where the fuck does this woman buy her sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm more <laughs>